Hello dear student, today I am going to discuss a beautiful algebra problem from the book Math Storm. As you can see, there are three real numbers a, b and c such that the expression 20a plus 7b plus 2c and a have the same sign and you have to prove that the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 cannot have both roots lies in this open interval 2 to 5. Okay, so what you can do? Uh, you are given that this and this these two terms have the same sign and if these two terms have the same sign then we can write uh, their ratio 20a plus 7b plus 2c divided by a then obviously this ratio is positive okay so uh, what we can do uh, this will imply uh, 20 plus 7 times b over a plus 2 times c over a is greater than 0 okay and we suppose uh, this quadratic has two roots alpha and beta uh, then we can write uh, what is the sum of root uh, sum of root is clearly uh, minus b by a and what about the product of root the product of root of this quadratic is c by a so uh, from uh, uh, non words we are going to introduce alpha and beta in this picture so 20 plus okay what is the value of b by a from here minus times alpha plus beta and what is the value of c by a c by is actually alpha beta plus 2 alpha beta is positive okay Okay, what you have to show, uh, you have to show that the both the roots cannot lie in this interval. So, now I am going to start uh, in a reverse way. Uh, this is the interval 2 to 5. Uh, and uh, what happens if the roots alpha and beta, both roots lie in this interval. If alpha and beta lie in this interval, then we can write alpha minus 2 obviously alpha is greater than 2 alpha minus 2 is positive number and again uh, 5 is greater than beta 5 minus beta is also a positive number and the product of two positive number is again a positive number uh, and if we expand this one what will we get 5 alpha minus alpha beta minus 10 plus 2 beta is greater than 0 okay when both the roots alpha and beta lie within this interval it means that the sign of this expression is positive so i am going to introduce this term uh, in this inequality okay so first of all uh, here it is minus 10 okay and here it is 20 so first of all uh, multiply by minus 1 multiply by minus 1 in this inequality uh, we can write uh, 7 alpha plus 7 beta minus 2 alpha beta minus 20 is obviously lesser than 0 okay so this term is uh, 5 alpha minus alpha beta minus 10 plus 2 beta so we can break uh, the LHS uh, in order that this term will appear okay 5 alpha minus alpha beta minus 10 plus 2 beta and the remaining terms are what uh, I think 2 alpha minus alpha beta minus 10 and uh, here it is 7 beta and it is 2 beta so we can write 5 beta this should be less than 0 okay and the factors of the first term is what uh, the factors are clearly alpha minus 2 and 5 minus beta alpha minus 2 times 5 minus beta plus uh, uh, what about the second term if we take uh, alpha common we can write alpha, alpha times 2 minus beta and if we take minus 5 common again 2 minus beta so uh, the factors for the second terms uh, factors are 2 minus beta times alpha minus 5 okay now if we suppose that both the root lie in this interval then clearly 
alpha minus 2 alpha is greater than 2 alpha minus 2 is a positive number 5 is greater than beta then 5 minus beta is again a positive number and the product of two positive number is a positive number first term is positive on the other hand uh, 2 uh, 2 is smaller than beta therefore 2 minus beta is what this is a negative number alpha minus 5 alpha is smaller than 5 so alpha minus 5 is again a negative number and the product of two negative number is a positive number now look at LHS this number is positive this number is positive and here uh, between them there is a positive sign so the sum of two positive number is also a positive number so we get a contradiction it means that there exists no alpha and beta between 2 and 5 for this for which this expression become negative hence we get a contradiction here meaning thereby there does not exist uh, both the roots lie within this open interval okay thanks for watching